support for Sac City is brought to you by Manscaped.com. The products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels. The performance package, ultimate men's hygiene bundle. So you can join over 6 million worldwide who trust Manscaped. We have an exclusive offer, 20% off free worldwide shipping. If you just type in the code Sac City at checkout. And if my math is correct, that's about 12 million balls. Vinny and AJ is a game changer. Inside the pack, you get the lawnmower 4.0. You get the, the weed whacker, nose and hair trimmer. You get your little deodorant, foot deodorant. You get your little, uh, what is it? What do they call it, Vinny? The, the crop preserver ball deodorant. So your ball smells fresh. Damn. You get ball toner. And again, this is Manscaped. You get a pair of boxer briefs to boot. So go and get 20% off and free shipping with the code SACCITY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Dolphins, Buccaneers, this team, two teams battling out Sunshine State. Ah, oh, man, if only the Jags were good and could actually participate in this war for the Sunshine State. But I digress. It is between the Bucks and the Dolphins, two teams that, uh, had some interesting off seasons, I'd say. Obviously, with Tyreek Hill going to the Dolphins and the Tom Brady saga with the Bucks and the retirement, and the not retirement. AJ, what are you looking forward to most in this game? I'm really worried for the Bucks, man. Tom Brady's not going to be there for about eight days. What are they going to do? Oh no, I'm not looking for much on the on the Buccaneers side. This comes down to what the offense looks like on the Miami Dolphins side. And I don't think they're going to get too much run. Uh, you know, maybe a couple series with some of these guys just to see what they can do. Uh, but there's a lot of explosiveness out there, and there's a lot of people that have to kind of figure out their new pecking order in this offense. And uh, let's see if uh, they, they look up to par uh, to start off these first couple series of preseason one. Eric? Guys, I, I, I found Tom Brady. I found him. He doesn't have to miss eight days anymore. It looks like he had to go take a physical. I don't know what's going on back here, but uh, I, I found he him. He opted the old time machine. You know, he makes all that money. Yeah. He was able to purchase I mean, the time machine. And... I mean, just imagine the greatest player ever looked like that. Like, it gives me so much hope in life. Anyways. um, It, it gives a lot of hope to Mac Jones, too. I'm, oh, man, you just ruined this whole segment. Start it over. <laughs> Mac Jones is trash. Anyway, listen. <laughs> Talking about the Dolphins here for me, it's the running back position. So many running backs, they went out and go get a Marine, Raheem Mostert, Chase Edmonds. They still have Miles Gaskin. You still got Salvin Ahmed, Ahmed there. They got a Ahmed. They got a bunch of backs, but we don't really know. We've kind of talked about Chase Edmonds being that guy, but who knows who's going to come out of camp and kind of take that lead role. Raheem Mostert's had good games in the past. Maybe a Mike McDaniel's looking at his preseason and says, you know what? Maybe that's my guy. And maybe Chase Edmonds doesn't start the year. So who knows about that? I know he got paid. He probably has the edge. But then you got guys like Sony Michelle is there. They just got a ton of guys there. Anybody could step up. So I'm looking for who steps up in that running back room for the Miami Dolphins. A running back room that last year just wasn't good. Like, I like Gaskin and all, but they, their efficiency, they were putrid on the ground last year. Yeah. And if they're going to do something with Tua, they're going to need to help them with getting, by getting a running game. There's a lot of running backs mm -hmm. in the backfield. There's a what? lot of running back. There's a lot yes. of running backs there. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot all of guys running that have backs started games. games. Like all guys that have been guys all, that started all, yeah. games. All of them have, AFC, that have been It's the AFC 49ers, bro. <laughs> no, the 49ers didn't even really have like like they had like Jamichael Hasty and Trey Sermon, guys that we thought would be good. But we're talking Sony yeah. Michelle has been a player in this league. Chase Edmonds yeah. has been productive in this league. Uh Raheem Mostert has been productive in this league. Uh, Miles Gaskin had a very productive season, not just one game. And then Salvin Ahmed is probably the, the kind of odd man out there who had a couple of good games. But you don't really see many teams that have five backs where you're like, you know, these were all starters at one point. People were talking starters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who takes this one, though? I'm, uh, I'm going to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Dolphins. I'm gonna go 27. I'm gonna go 24, 24, 20. 
Yeah, we talked about the depth of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and they have a lot of veteran starters that probably aren't playing. And if they do, it's probably going to be a quick hooks. A lot of young guys that are going to have to uh, get some work. Shout out D Delaney. You should get some work tomorrow. I'm excited to see that. Uh, shout out Dylan Kurtz, too, who hasn't been on the show lately, by the way. But shout out to my brother Dylan Kurtz doing his thing up in Sainsville. Um, Sainsville. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go with Miami. I'm going to go with Miami here. I think they win 27-19. I will go with Miami as uh yeah, Miami eighteen to fifteen. 